Welcome to episode 7 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar and answer your solar questions. Today we have two questions on the show. One, the first one's from Bill Bowden, who asks, Is the income from selling your solar power taxable? If I get gas and electricity from the same supplier, can I use my credits to pay my gas bills? Good question. So last episode we talked about selling your solar power your extra solar power back to the, the grid and then getting credit for that from the power company. Mm -hmm. And the question here is, can I use that extra credit to put towards my gas bill? Good question. Thank you, Bill, for the question. Ross? Yes. Take us away. Well, I guess the short answer is yes. You can use yeah. your credits to take your gas bill. Well, 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 well. Right, well. <laughs> so, which is great. Um, I think what you need to make sure is that your retailer does electricity and gas. Mm -hmm. You can't use your credits from your electricity to pay for gas on another retailer. Mm -hmm. um, but some retailers, a lot of them actually these days, do both. Mm -hmm. And instead of giving you the electricity credits, they'll mm -hmm. just start to pay your gas bill. There you go. Very good. So the answer is yes, Bill. If you have extra credit, you want to put a bigger solar system on your house and you're able to sell that extra power back to the power lines and get a credit on your bill, you can use that credit to put straight towards your electricity. Um, is the income taxable? It's a damn good question. It's a very good question. I don't think it is because- It's a discount? It's a discount. It's not so much- An income. Um, it, people used to get checks in the mail for credits. Yeah. They don't do that anymore. Yeah. Um, I've heard of one or two situations where it got some people had so many credits because they just barely used any power. It got to the end of financial year, so the, uh, the energy company had to pay them out, so yeah. it didn't carry it over. That was very common. Yeah, I don't Back think, in the day. I'm not sure whether or not you get people are claiming. I, I don't think people would be claiming. Account. I think that, yeah. my get, I'm not an accountant, disclaimer, but my guess would be that you would be taxed on that mm. if it was income. Um, if it's just a discount off your bill, I would say you're probably not going to be taxed on that or if you're putting it towards your gas because it's the same bill, it's just leveling out differently. Yeah. But speak to your accountant, Bill. I don't want you to go to, to prison because of us. Yeah. Question two. Uh, this question comes from Michael. Where is he? Michael, uh, Michael Shane O'Gorman. Thank you for your question, Michael. Um, he, Michael asks, if your house uses 13 kilowatts a day, so that's the amount of usage, 13 kilowatts for the day. Would a 10 kilowatt hour battery get you through the whole night? I feel like this is a, a question you'd get on like a maths test at school. Yeah. If you use 13 kilowatt hours a day and you have a 10 kilowatt hour many, battery. How many 10 kilowatts would you need? <laughs> to get will it get you through the night? Yeah. It will. It can. Yeah. It depends when you're using your, if you're using all your 13 kilowatt hours during the night. Yeah then your 10 kilowatt hour is not going to get you through the night. Won't be enough. But that's a extremely, silly scenario. It's an extremely so, unlikely scenario. So the chances are, and I'll just say 50% is getting used during the day, 50% mm -hmm. of that usage is used during the night. Yeah. 13 divided by two. 6.5. So 6.5 kilowatt hours usage during the day, 6.5 during the night. So therefore 10 will get you through the night with ample storage. With a bit spare for the morning. Well, half spare half off spare. that maths. And yeah. the it's good to remember because we talked in the last video that the less stress you put on a lithium or solar battery, the longer it's going to last you. Yeah. So if you've got a six kilowatt battery and use the whole thing every night, opposed to getting a 10 kilowatt hour battery and using half every night, yeah. the lifespan is going to be exponentially more on the 10 kilowatt battery that has less stress in it for the 10 to 20 years uh, of its life. Yeah, right. And... We're assuming this question that you have solar, mm. obviously to charge the battery. And the most likely answer, the most likely scenario with the 13 kilowatt hour usage, even if it was used all at night, then you'd be selling all your solar power during the day, yeah. which would actually offset the remaining three kilowatts. Yeah. So if you've got any like an average size solar system, like a four to six kilowatt, and you've got a 10 kilowatt hour battery, and you're using 13 kilowatt hours a day, even if you're using it all at night, I reckon what you sell during the day will fully cover what you use yeah. at night with the battery and then some. So uh, I would be 100% certain you'd be in credit with yeah, that sort of sure. setup. If you had 10 kilowatts. You'd be getting credit. And that goes back to the first question, would you pay tax? Speak to your accountant. 
Thanks for watching episode 7 of PVTV. When you get any questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the uh, comments below this video and we will answer them for you soon. Thank you, Michael, for your question. Thank you, Bill, Bill for your question. It's been great to have you on the show. Take care.